you talking? Helmsman laid a new course. Watch how I saw it. For now, it's gone completely. Engage. Hello. And welcome to the Save Sci-Fi Podcast. I am your host, David. And joining me tonight, we have Coop. Greetings. Amy. Hey, all. Scarecrow. Good evening. <laughs> no more beer for you. And what beer? <laughs> and beer? <Stuart>. What? <laughs> beer is disgusting and high, everybody. <laughs> so, on tonight... What, I'm not allowed to be enthusiastic? Oh, good. Uh, on tonight's show, we have the finale for Marvel's Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. and The Arrow, both of which finished. We'll be covering Flash probably next week or the week after, depending on scheduling. Um, Supergirl released a trailer. We'll be having a look at that and seeing what, what we see. And funnily enough, Coop actually... Who is eating the food? Whoever's rumbling that is going out the bloody airlock. <laughs> it's not me this time. Oh, I was about to say, this would be so ironic if it was Coop, just as, his, just as his part got mentioned. No, I'm not eating chips, I'm eating red frogs, so... Yeah. I can hear it's... plastic bags shuffling and coming through the mic really loud, so... Wow. Amy? I'm not eating anything. Scarecrow? I'm not eating anything. Still Might be your imagination. <laughs> no, it's actually not me. I blame Coop then, just because I can. What uh, is this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, and also, Coop gets a Comic Gong, um, which is a little comic convention oh, down God, in. Don't, don't take my spotlight, boy. Which is a little convention down in some oh, little place in the middle of nowhere, New middle South Wales. Like it's halfway to Canberra on the New South Wales south coast. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's actually not. Nowhere. It's a nice little town. It really is. That's the first thing nice I've heard from a Queenslander in a while. It's, I grew up in Port Macquarie. Port Macquarie's a crap hole. Everything is good compared to Port Macquarie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyone that's ever been to Port Macquarie agrees that it is a brilliant place to spend a weekend. But if you that's want to it. drive on the roads for more than a day, your tires fall off because it's just potholes everywhere. It's got. Yep. Th- it, I can test that. <laughs> it's got some of the best beaches uh. around. It really Sorry does. Some of the best beaches around. Other than that, it's got nothing. It's got two shopping centres, which consist of a Target and a Big W, a Woolworths and a Coles, and that's literally it. Nothing else. <laughs> it's just so... No, that's... So oh, yeah, that's decent Mexican place, that, and that's about that, it. That, yeah. that. Alright, to the point. Yeah. Anyway, on to the main topic. The Let's start with... Um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So, Stuart... You you watched the finale, didn't you? Yeah, I actually missed it when it aired, so I just watched it a few hours, um, about an hour ago. Yeah, so, what were your thoughts? Ah, uh, first off, there was a lot of feels in it, which oh, I wasn't... Yeah. Don't say wasn't... anything, because I'm going to do a mass marathon in a couple of weeks. Yeah. <sighs> well, nothing... Annoy- oh, sorry, nothing sorry an- don't just spoil the entire season. I don't mind the one episode. Nothing annoyed me more than when Adama died. <laughs> yes. That's half expected. Although, so. the f- funniest moment, or the moment I wasn't expecting, was uh, Coulson's hand getting chopped off. Yeah, that was pretty funny. <laughs> you, you, you know what that is, don't you? Yeah, I know what that is. Yeah. Star Wars reference. Oh, yeah. This year, every movie, every show has had someone lose their hand in a Star Wars reference. They finally so. did it to Coulson. Coulson. Yeah. So. I'm or sure that's going to work or, very or, well. Or, or, or as I like to call Coulson, uh, Agent Cockblock. Oy. Why? Ow. What? Why is that? <laughs> because, uh... Let, let, well, let, let, I don't want to spoil it, but let's just say... Spoil it! Spoil it! Spoil it! Let's just say it. a certain couple finally get together at last. Yeah. Fitz and Simmons? Please tell me it's Fitz and Simmons. Yeah. No, it's not Fitz and Simmons. It's Sky and, um... Ward... Yeah. <laughs> Sky, Sky and Sorry, Ward finally work. make out, and it's weird. <laughs> a couple of times in season, anyway, one. It's, in it's, it's, season one. It's weird that when they make out, because for some reason Sky has three legs. It's never really explained. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what the third leg is. Giggity. I'll check on one. We're not in Thailand, people. Uh, okay. Anyway... <laughs> No, I, um, I... Are you sure I, about that? This is Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. 
Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, leaving that alone. Anyway, I actually really enjoyed it. I was, Yeah, I really found it. Um, I, I watched it earlier in the week while I was cooking my, my dinner, so I missed little bits and pieces here and there. But overall, it was really good. Yeah. Sky's Devolta powers quite well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I haven't actually seen season two since episode ten. Oh, oh. you missed a lot. You well, missed a lot. I'm you kind of. In the, I'm about to go into two exams, so that's my holiday. Yeah. yeah. You so you missed yeah, a ton. Do you remember the original Transformers Rumble, the little tape cassette guy that could make earthquakes? Yes. Yeah. Sky is effectively that. Yes. <laughs> times ten. <laughs> oh. So she, I am and, up for this. Rumble and, on energy drinks. Oh, oh she can yeah. also do, and she can also do blasts and knock people backwards. Yeah, she's also oh, got force push. Yet to be determined oh, if God. she has force pull. But I guess Ward will find that out. PG. That was bad, even for you, man. Wasn't too good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that was good. <laughs> what the fuck are you smoking tonight? <laughs> Everything you can find. <laughs> it's like, I don't know what it was, but it said Declaration of Independence. And it smelled Oy. really old. <laughs> Nicholas <Oy>. Cage to prove. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah I, I, that explains Cajun. Hmm. Anyway. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> that was worse than the brush upon my history teacher made today. <laughs> well, yep. Uh, it's official. My brain would be brokey. Yeah, anyway, back to the episode. Yeah, back to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, so, um... We wow. know it's, is that there, we know there has been confirmed to season three. Yeah. Yeah. So, so Porcupine gets shot, so down goes Sonic the Hedgehog. Gotta um, go fast. Um, <laughs> it's revealed how the mum's powers work, which is absolutely awesome and terrifying at the same time. Uh, yeah, really terrifying. Yeah. Um, and that's actually pretty cool. Uh, they do all sorts of cool things but I think the thing that's going to make the most difference is right at the end uh, I'm talking about the water oh yeah yeah I saw that I was like oh oh god <laughs> and I was like oh god yeah. oh sweet Jesus so they've effectively <laughs> set up the Inhumans by they the pillar things that give them superpowers right what they've done is they've found a way to create them artificially and turn them into little crystals. And the crystal can affect sort of a small area. They had a cr crate full of these damn things. You know, like one of those weapon storage crate looking things. Full okay. of them. They dissolve in water. And during the episode, they're on one of the... Na they're on the helicarrier. And one of them goes overboard without them noticing. Uh, Thanks, to Thanks to Sky. Thanks <laughs> to Sky. And the last shot of the episode... Wait is this crate on the bottom of the ocean somehow open. Not exactly oh, oh. sure how that happened. And and you just see the crystal dissolving into the water. And then it shows water bottling plants. And it sort of implies that these crystals, which give you superpowers or kill you, is through now in... Through fish, uh, yeah, are now in fish oil. Fish oil tablets. That's right, it's fish oil tablets. I don't remember what it yeah, was. It's fish, it's fish oil capsules. It's yeah. like, oh, great. Yeah, fish oil capsules. <laughs> So, yeah. I no, I think the biggest thing was uh and I still don't know what the hell it is. The the giant blob thing in the cage. Oh, you mean the blob thing that that ate not fits Sim Simmons? I wasn't going to say who it was. I stopped intentionally. Oh, I, I've seen that bit with the bottom of the ocean. So, no, yeah. It's not at the bottom of the ocean anymore. Yeah. But yeah, the the, the blob thing just sort of She's studying it, then it just opens the case, goes, Goop, you're mine, and then pre solidifies, she's gone. <laughs> so, who knows what happened to her? And that's how they cut the series off. <laughs> yeah. So, Marvel, fuck you. We want more shield. All the feels. Yeah, all, all the feels. So, yeah, as I said, I. I Fitz effectively shield? proposes to Simmons, and then Simmons is like, Yeah, well, I'll come up and we'll, we'll, we'll do lunch, and he's all ready to do it. He walks out of the room and the blob goes, yeah, nom, nom, nom. Nope. And it's like, it's like <laughs> wait, the blob is back? The blob is back. 
Oh yeah. So yeah. Um, yeah. So Fox can't aren't doing anything about that, are they? Eh? I don't think that. Oh no no, the... not that blob. No no, that's a it's like a pillar thing that's solid, and then it turns into a liquid, then it goes solid again. Think of it sort of like Venom from spot from the Spidey suit, same sort of thing. Oh, the symbiote. Yeah, but not. I don't think it is. It, a symbiote. It's not. A, yeah, we don't know. No, no, what it is yet. It just sucks people up and then just solidifies. Yeah. It kind of looks like a. It kind of looks like a prison, because when it solidifies, there's like three little. There's like a gap that looks like a little. Um, yeah. That like looks like a little cell. Which probably makes sense now that we think about it. Um. Harry. Yeah. Yeah, we all know what the clicking's from. Stop oh. playing Minecraft. Yeah, I wasn't gonna say it on the podcast, fool. There's a reason I did it in the chat. Amy is playing po Minecraft, and if you're wondering what the clicking is, she's doing a thing, and it's annoying the crap out of me. Anyway, um. Fine, I'll so go. What other I'll What go. other cool things happen on that? Um. I definitely like how it's based in the helicarrier now. That's pretty fucking awesome. Yeah, that's cool. Uh. Oh, the um the su the superpower team. Oh yeah, Sky's team. Yeah, Sky's got a team of of Inhumans. Yeah. What you couldn't give what like her own team? Fair. Well, ba basically, what happens is they stop what the Inhumans were doing, and so that then somehow they all they all join Shield. But um, Sky's gonna run the team, and she's the first one. Then she gets to choose like who joins the team and stuff. I'm guessing that's what's gonna happen in season three. Oh okay. yeah. Has there been any um, carry-ons from the Avengers movie? Um, not from Ultron. It, it's mentioned um, at the end of yeah. one episode. Raina, with her premonition ability, sees these men of machine, these men made of metal that are going to wash across the world and change everything forever. And then the next, very next episode, it's like, oh well, that's done. Nope. <laughs> Moving right <laughs> along. So yeah. yeah, they make bre and in the for not in um, final episode they also make mentions of the Avengers as well. Yeah. Okay. They basically um with Sky's team, she's like, I want it to be private. I don't want it to be like the Avengers and everyone knowing. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's sort of hard to get around if everyone knows who you are. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when you've got earthquake ability. <laughs> you got earthquake ability. You got lightning ability. Uh, clone. <laughs> Yeah, earthquake ability. There's an earthquake. No, you, Your fault. What you I'm, have to pay for the repairs. What happened to the jumper guy? Did he survive? I can't remember. Oh, teleport dude? Yeah. I think it's just, no, he died. That's, That's right. right. He got messed up. <laughs> he teleported into a pole. That's right. And Fitz was holding the pole. <laughs> and Fitz is just like, huh? <laughs> I, I looked away for a second when that happened. I looked up and I thought he'd teleported the pole inside Fitz. And I was like... That's what I thought as well. I was like, no... I was I, I, I had on going, did you really just do that? And then they move along, I was like, oh, thank goodness. Yeah, and then it sort of, he falls backwards, and it's like, oh, okay. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. That's not so bad. You don't like the teleport guy? <laughs> no, 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 just the way that they almost kill Fitz, Fitz yeah, off. Yeah, <laughs> okay. they, they effectively Joss Whedon Fitz. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I went so, there. I'd so hope Fitz would come to Sydney Nova. That would be awesome. That would be... Just, uh, he just randomly turns up out of the blue for no apparent reason. Oh yeah, Simmons is here, so am I. The ship is real. The ship is real. But that said, it explains why she turned up. If she's been killed off, it explains why she's coming. Yeah. Because they're starting filming soon, so... She won't be around, unless they're, unless you, unless they're going to find a way to break her out of the blob. Yeah. So. Or, or they're just going to go, eh, well... Stay away from the blob for a while. That too. <laughs> you never know the blob could give her superpowers. <coughs> Superpower in this. I'm, I'm starting to think, I wonder if that blob could potentially be like an interdimensional um, portal. Uh, here's a question. I don't want to know what we're talking what, about now. What if the blob <laughs> stone thing is an infinity stone? Ooh. Uh... Oh, that could be perfect for the time stone. Time gem, yeah. Yeah, because we have no idea where two of those stones are. No. It which would we've be covered in an earlier episode. Which would be really cool if, because there's one of them we expect the soul stone we expect to be in Doctor Strange. 
the time stone we have no frilling idea where that thing is <laughs> and it would be really cool if it was in shield we never actually even considered shield as a way no. of introducing the time stone but that would but be really cool bad, just for the hell of it yeah okay i hear a can or a bottle being crushed i'm gonna kick their ass and you're airlocked <laughs> Amy. Amy. Not me. Oh, yes, it is. I've even stopped playing Minecraft. Yeah, you did. I heard you. Thank you. Um, okay, let's move on to Comic-Gong. Well, Wait, we're not uh, doing Arrow? We're doing Arrow, but we're doing Arrow after Comic-Gong. We're just sort of breaking, Actually, no. up, breaking Sorry, up a little bit. Sorry, I've just got something in my mouth. Quickly do Arrow. Wow. Yeah, I'm, Arrow's looking I'm, to be quick. I'm just leaving the fact that you've got something in your mouth alone. <laughs> yeah. and I've got, like, I feel like I know what it is. Well, I'm just going to say, what you, do in, what you do in your time, it's what you do in your time. We forgive you. <laughs> Nobody's going to judge. Yeah. So you've got three and a half minutes left in your Comic Con segment, and you've wasted half of them. How do you feel? Funny. <laughs> at, least, at least he's not jerking. <laughs> must have been a thrilling convention. Uh, so, anyway, well, fine. Let's move on to Supergirl. They released hmm. a... Actually, no. Yeah, we'll go with Supergirl. Supergirl. We'll go Supergirl. Um, they released a Supergirl trailer, which, to be perfectly honest, I wasn't overly impressed with. I, I found it odd. Right. Yeah, I found it really stupid. Yeah. Why is she so ditzy? Yeah. Not, not Besides the... the whole blonde fact, but really, yeah, guys... Yeah, I wasn't going no. to say the obvious. No, I mean, what the fact is... The... The way I've read Supergirl is she's come later. She hasn't grown up on Earth. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, that's a that's a different thing that they did. Yeah. Um, she's grown up on Earth. She's been adopted. They effectively Clark Canada. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Except, well, except speaking of female what? heroes, did you hear who the official um character is behind the new female Thor? Uh, we'll get to that. We'll get to that in the news because I don't okay. it. Okay. I'll cover that. I will cover that in the news. We'll get okay. to that in the news. We we'll get to everything in the news until I cut him off. Because it's not surprising what they did with that. There's a lot of news this week. Like they, yeah. um, yeah, they pretty much grew her up. She came as secretary from yeah. what the ad, yeah. um, ad was. See, my my problem isn't with what they did with her. My problem is people like the boss. It's like oh, not even cat, not even cat. stereotyped. It's just it's it's effectively Marvel. Every Marvel boss is a fuckhead. Yeah, it's not a stereotype. It's a cliche. Yeah, same difference. Semantics. Yeah, I don't, like I don't like the whole way. I don't like the whole way that they set everything up. Although I I did when I was watching the trailer, I did think of something funny. She's yeah. like, "Where's my?" Ca-? When she asked, "Is like, where's the cape?" All I could tell her was the Incredibles movie. No cape. <laughs> no caps. No caps. And she still ends up with a cape. Yeah, and there's actually I actually found this on the internet. Someone so actually did the whole, did the um the quote of where's my capes, and then someone put the picture of no capes underneath it. Fair I know nice. they. I know um, they did the some. They gave Madonna that treatment after the um. You know when she got pulled off and some because someone dug on a cape, they got her their hands on that. So, uh, um. well internet yeah internet um so but yeah like i'm looking forward to it because it's meant to be at least loosely tied into arrow flash um, yes i'm not sure how closely it's going to be tied because it's not technically the same network it's a sister network yeah but it is owned by the same parent company People. yeah so um Wait, who owned the cw well who owned the cw not a clue. I just know that they're. I just know the channel uh, that Supergirl's look, on and up. the channel that Arrow and them are on are both owned by the same crowd. Like, um, I'm interested to watch it. I get, I'm going to look it up now. Yeah. So there is a potential for a crossover, but they also revealed a Legends of Tomorrow trailer. Oh, I really could not give two craps about that. <laughs> yeah. Um, we'll get to the Legends of Tomorrow trailer after Arrow. Um, since it effectively shoots all over Arrow, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Oh, okay. So if it shoots I... over Arrow, it still doesn't mean any different because Arrow wasn't that good. No, no, I don't. I don't mean shoots all over it in a good way. I mean shoots all over it in a bad way. Oh. 
So, uh, the people who own, um, CW and CBS well, is Warner Brothers. Oh, shock. Uh, of course. <laughs> that explains everything. Shock, horror, gasp. Um, Not. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. anyway, are you ready to do your comic -Gon? Yes, I am. Excellent. Um, this was, it's a, a small little convention down on the southern... Uh, down in Wollongong, a little city down on the south coast by the local council. It, this is its second year, I believe, and I attended last year for a few gags. It's essentially free comic book day with, with a bit of a twist, I guess. Yeah. It's free entry, art exhibits, the whole lot. It's actually John Jarrett decided to appear this year. So, yeah, which so was, it was doing signatures and stuff, so... Yeah, but for 30 bucks a pop. <laughs> which is still cheaper than Supernova. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anything is Anything's cheaper than Supernova these days. Yeah. Um, it's like up, up here at the Logan City Council actually devotes a whole month to sci-fi at one of their libraries. I know um, so. the entirety of the Shoalhaven area. So from Will from Barry now from Shoalhaven to Kayama to Barry to now on, a whole week they've got gone. They've got it's basically a giant event. Yeah. And it's a spin-off after the big success of um, Berry Pop, which was a uh, one I managed to get myself down to at the at December last year. And I can tell you, stinking hot as the fourth Doctor. I, yeah, not yeah. weather appropriate. Yeah, December down there. No, that's 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 incredibly stupid, and it explains the brain damage. <laughs> not brain damage. Just oh, and the heat is and fun home. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I am not going to go into detail to keep it somewhat hidden from the main audience. Yeah. Um. All in all, the con was really good for us. It was a bunch of us to get together before Nova. Yeah. A few famous cosplayers would come up do the standard cosplay judgment, of course. Um. Sadly, there were a few issues where a little. Um, so a kid who won the youth. As, oh, I heard about this. Of, as Bemo got his yeah, uh, so, costume um, stolen at launch. So, yeah, so um, four six-year-old kid, his costume was stolen by two teenagers. What? Oh, yeah. yeah as I Beamer would, they, and, they, I would they pick those up. little fuckheads up with one hand each and smash their heads together. Yeah, this is the only time I've ever said this. Dickheads! I hate it. Like, I, I, I will always have a passion for cosplay. I been doing conventions yeah and then you got cocks like these that ruin it yeah, yeah. i've been doing conventions for 14 years like i've i've fallen in love with this yeah so. well to hear that story is absolutely shattering yeah but the good news is it doesn't look like they're finding it but um a few of the people i know they all went in as a group for as um the guardians um a few a two or three of them who are actually proper prop makers are going to make them a new one for free nice yeah, that is the only downfall of con, uh, con. But um, yeah. To be honest, I didn't get too many photos. I was absolutely exhausted. But one of the highlights I saw, yeah, um, was um, someone went as leather. You had Freddy, Jason, and Leatherface in the yeah. same building. Yeah, very nice. That. that was cool. Fair yeah, nice. I had um a couple of friends who were cosplayers down there. So, oh who. Um, 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 uh, and well, the famous ones. really good friends you have there, Stuart. You can't even remember their <laughs> names. At nope. least I make an attempt to remember yours. It's taken me 30 I'm weeks, going to get healthy. and I still don't get it right all the time. Do I, Fred? Nope. <laughs> you still get mine right for some reason. I've only been here half as long. Yeah, but it's four letters. Oh, sorry. Uh, one of them it's was four Martin. letters, and two of them are the same. It's not hard to remember. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I almost said it's not hard to forget, which defeats the point. So yeah, uh, one of my friends who was down there, who was one of the um, famous cosplayers, was uh, Evie Dantes. Oh, Evie, yeah. yeah. Um, Evie's she kind of left straight after the con, which was funny. A bunch of us kind of, we all met up, had lunch. Um, a local guy who runs a prop shop, we ended up crashing this um, street ball comp these guys had going on in the middle of... Um, the shopping center of Wollongon just outside of it. So we all went in cosplay and we all went against each other. We basically had bats pull a dunk. Wow. That just sounds like LARPing. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, watching another guy in a fully made Batman Batman armor, like I'm talking proper material, and dunking, we all laughed. It was the greatest thing I've seen. And all I'm going to say is, where was the video? 
Oh, the, oh, we didn't get a video because our camera, both our camera guys were playing as well. I, 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 okay. What do you mean? No, no, that's, you ruined it. It's, it's done. Batman, yeah. Bat, Batman playing basketball would have been spectacular. You didn't get video. It, it never happened. <laughs> I'm sorry. Lies, I'm so lies, sorry. all lies. Lies, all the lies. All of the lies are you. All of the lies. So, yeah. Um. Yeah. So overall, what would you rate it compared to say? I know it's a fairly hard comparison. Something like Supernova Oz Comic Con. Um. Guess why it's got nothing compared to either. The fact that it's free is always nice. Um. I'd compare it. I'd make it more of a souped up version of a free comic book day to an extent. It has um. Really, it's just the exposure for the culture rather yeah. than playing a gajillion dollars to get in. It's good and um. So it's, it's to a, be honest, it's effectively, the, it's a lot of a lot of fun. It's relatively quiet. It's it's sort of like super. Well, the crowds were pretty big this year. Yeah. I ended up um like you know how convention merch costs a fair bit of money. Yeah. I got a one of those six inch Thanos pop finals. For Very 25 nice. bucks all up in Sydney, you've got to pay bloody 40 for them. Nice. Nice. Yeah. I'm going to complain with that. Yeah. And it just proved to show all three of my Marvel Pops are bobbleheads. <laughs> <laughs> one's Deadpool yeah. signed by Stan Lee, one's Thanos, and the other one's Baby Groot with a little pot that says I am Groot. Uh, <laughs> yeah, jody has got the Groot one. Uh, so, yeah. But yeah, it's... um. It was nice. The only problem was I had to catch a bus back because of track closures. Oh. <laughs> two hours. <laughs> two hour, two, like an hour and a half, I'm not going to get back. <laughs> the, yeah, I know your pain. Before I moved to where I was, which is 10 minutes from like the city, it was like an hour, it was like an hour and a half each way on buses to get to conventions. It was painful. <laughs> especially, really... in full, especially in full Jedi gear. Very hot and very <laughs> painful. How about this? I was... This is why I've got a thing. It's, it's, it's a very important, highly technologically advanced thing. A car? It's, it's called a car. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You, you hop in it. You, yeah, but then you, you have you, to you pay control, for parking, though. You control the crazy little levers on the ground. They make you go forwards. There's a thing on the side that makes you go faster and backwards. It's really, That's really technical. That's why we find someone common and we just, like, let them drive us. Like, usually I get um, a friend of ours who's, like, friends with someone who else is going they pick he, he picks us all up drops us off and then we just train at home that in the night so we don't have to worry about the strange folk on the way over you, you do realize that on the way over you are the strange, the strange folk, folk. <laughs> no by the it's strange the folk home. i mean the heroin dealers from bankstown joy leaving that, that alone. alone yep okay next part <laughs> yes anyway um, let's <laughs> move Girl. it right along. Do we want to go back to Supergirl, or are we just going to... No, we're, we're just, we're just letting Supergirl fall where Supergirl lands. Yeah, and I'm we'll... not really looking... For... I'll probably watch it, but I'm still not really looking forward we'll, to it. Okay, we'll, we'll, pick, Arrow. we'll pick it back up when, when Supergirl comes on, we'll, we'll head back to that topic and see how well it actually, actually stands. Um, last, effectively last, because I don't think we've got another topic after this, other than the news. The Arrow finale. Yes. So, I think I was effectively right on all counts. The they were effect, they were immune to the poison. Obviously, they were going to be immune to the poison. Yeah. Um, what's his? Oh, wow! I forgot his name. <laughs> Arrow was only doing the was only pretending to be Raz's Raj's thing so that he could get his hands on the poison. Um, it. I hate to say it, but in the end, it was all fairly straightforward. Yeah, although the, uh, the the little surprise at the end of the episode was really nice, the uh, the explosion. Yeah, I, I, I think I I think this episode would, with the exception of that atom explosion, if Arrow finished and there was no more episodes of Arrow as of last couple of nights ago when that aired, I think that would have been a fairly decent ending for it. Yeah, relatively well, I would have been happy. Would have been happy the way it ended actually. So it, it ends with. Um, Felicity and Oliver driving off to the sunset together in a race a sports in a, car. In they a got Porsche. From, yeah. <laughs> in a Porsche, which some poor guy somehow managed to buy because, remember, he's not a millionaire anymore. So Probably yeah. borrowed it from Ray. Don't know where he got it from. Actually, that's a fairly logical explanation. I'm going with it. <laughs> Just stole Ray's car and drove off. <laughs> yeah. 
Ray gets out of the car park. This is the empty car park. It says, I owe you, Oliver. It's like... <laughs> God damn you, Deadpool! <laughs> I mean, Oliver! <laughs> and he's like, Queen! <laughs> <laughs> you take my gun, now you take my car! <laughs> um, and your environment sticks his head out of the corner, and next time I'm coming for you. Yeah. Um, speaking of Barman. <laughs> speaking of Barman, guess who the next Raj is? Yay! So he has taken over them. He has taken over the League of Assassins. The League of Assassins. Shall rule. Um, and the daughter is not happy. No, Nisra is not very happy. Not happy at all. Very, very there, angry. There is one thing I'm happy. I'm just so glad that Oliver and Nissa didn't get it on. Thank goodness. Yeah. It came so close. Oh. So close. That could have been awkward. Oh, yeah. And, and then... Um, Hell, the marriage, so, the marriage enough itself was awkward. That's it. The fight on the dam? <laughs> that was cool. That was... That was cool. That was cool. I liked how that went. Um, and it was cool finally seeing Thea in the in the in her gear. Yeah, Thea in full gear as um, Speedy. Speedy. So, Although they also did ma- did mention the uh, the Red Arrow title as well. Yeah, but I, I don't think they're going to go with the Red Arrow. I think they're going to go with Speedy. Yeah, because um, everyone loves Speedy. And then right at the end, you've got. Oh man, so, yeah. we said it, said his name a minute ago, and now my brain can't do the Ray. words. Ray, Ray, fiddling around with the atom suit, and he's like, "If I use my nanites, I can I can miniaturize apes of these parts." Okay, miniaturize parts miniaturization test one. Nothing <sighs> happens. Suit powers down. It's like, well, can't expect it to work the first time. Bang! Blows the entire top floor out of the building. It's yeah. like it's like whoops. <laughs> I thought I was like, oh, hello. I know where that leads to. So, yeah, and, um, so last you see, he's going up in a ball of flames. And yeah. then, straight after the episode, they released the trailer for Legends of Le- Tomorrow. The Which then screws first over. thing that happens in the trailer for Legends of the Tomorrow is you see Ray going, Guess what? I wasn't in the, I wasn't killed in the explosion. I can just turn really fucking small now. And it's he like, looks stupid when he runs. Oh, it looks absolutely <laughs> ridiculous when he's tiny. <laughs> It's just like, well, guys, what the hell? What are you doing? Hi. Like, it was it was so good, and then why? Nope. You've just it's like you know that cliffhanger we set up. Yeah, it's gone now. Yep. It, it, it is gone. It's, it's not a thing. <laughs> yeah, they also make mention of um with Diggle and possibly wearing a mask. Yeah. Or or, or an identi- or covering his identity. Yeah. Which has led to a lot of rumors that he could possibly be. That um, he could be John Stewart. It could be John Diggle Stewart. Very nice. So he could be a GL. Yeah. Which may or may not happen, or he just might just cover his face up. We don't know. Yeah. But everyone, everyone just sort of wants it because it's, ra- because he's the closest one. Yeah. Um, so. So yeah. I love it because you're the only true speaking at the moment. Yeah, I know. Because Scarecrow is probably new to this because he's, he wants to watch it. He doesn't want it to be ruined. So he's just sort of going, la 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 Actually, and Coop doesn't care for DC at all. Now, now that well, I think about it, when was the I'm last time Scarecrow guys. said anything? Oh, that, was, that totally ruined it. <laughs> Damn it, Scarecrow. What? I can't lurk? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you and Amy going silent, even though you're technically on computers and nowhere near each other, we still find it weird. <laughs> 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 Mm. All right. so, oh, the town guys, it's a little bit hard for us to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Besides, we wouldn't want to traumatize our loyal listeners. Yeah, well, you guys, maybe. Wait, the we... listeners? No. Yeah, we have yeah. Listeners? Considering we've got two listeners, one of them is Amy. The other one is probably one of you, you. three. No, um, it's actually you. It's not me because I'm not logged in the page. Is it Jody? It says safe sci-fi. Yeah, it says okay. it says plus one elsewhere, so I don't know who it is. Um, and it's somebody. Anyway, so. I also happen to know we've got about twenty five people that listen in after this fact. At least. Yeah. yeah, it's oh. Jody. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, honey. So, no need to worry about traumatizing people. We've we've we've, 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 we've got traumatized as it is. Yeah, we've got Cooper who has brain damage thanks to traveling in the heat as the doctor. That was. 
No, that was half a year ago, okay? And it was also a dead Dalek. And you, 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 you're yet to recover, so... Oh, you dude, can't, I've can't been blame fine us. since... When was Soundwave? A March. It's been two months. Yep. Doesn't uh, matter, you're still a dead Dalek. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway. Back on topic of Arrow. Uh, mm. Sorry, Legends of Tomorrow trailer. It sort of teases the return of now White Canary... Um, using the Lazarus Pit to bring back um, Sarah. Sarah? Sarah, yes. Yeah, Sarah. And she's going to fight as White Canary, which, to be perfectly honest... Her outfit looks stupid! I'm I'm sorry. The outfit just just looks silly. Yeah. It it, it looks like something out of old school Tron. It does a bit. (laughs) I'm thinking, what were they thinking with the character design? And who who else was on... You got Oliver's on it. Hawk, Hawk Girl. Girl. Yes, Hawk Girl. We get to see Hawk Girl for the first time. That was pretty cool. Look, the wings look really awesome. Yeah, they, they, they do. They really cool with that. Yeah. See, you I... See, uh... Oh, you go. No, you go. I was going to say... Oh, I was just going to say... I was going to say... Um, we get to see um, Arthur Devil as Rip Hunter. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So, and I... It, oh, you go. I was just going to say... Well, I've never been that big of a fan of DC. And to be perfectly blunt, I'm still not that big of a fan of DC relative to Marvel. It, but... I will say one thing unequivocally. The DC TV universe, as always, stands up better than the Marvel TV universe. The Marvel movie universe, on the other hand... Shit's all over the, mo- the craps DC Craps all universe. over. Craps all over the DC movie universe. That's the whole thing sa- about That DC. said, I am linking... I'm also linking Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Agent Carter, Daredevil. I am linking them as part of the movie universe, because that's where they belong. So, yeah. because, um, well, uh, yeah, and they tie in, so I yeah. can which makes them sustainable. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, but even if you put, say, Arrow down next to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., they've both been going for a similar length of time. One's got two seasons, one's got three seasons. They're both totally different. But given a choice, I can watch one and not the other. I would probably lean towards Arrow. Even though really? I, even though I didn't really like season one of Arrow. But and I did I enjoyed the first half of the season of season one of Shield. Overall, I would rate them both only about a five or a six out of ten. Yeah, interesting. So it's see, I would actually go the other way. I, I, I actually go the other way to be honest. Hmm. Yes, the DC fanboys choosing Marvel. How ironic. Yeah. So, um, but, but that, that's but, that's just me. Yeah. Um, the interesting thing to note as well with um Hawkgirl. Is that um, is that uh, Flash actually? Well, um, well, not Flash, but um, Wally West gets together with Hawk Girl, so that might lead into something with Wally West. Nah. Who is Kid Flash? Nah, it's interesting. Yeah, a little bit of knowledge. Yeah. Okay. Also, so um, with Rip Hunter, I didn't expect Arthur Devil to, to, to like. I wasn't expecting such the strong British accent. Yeah. Like I obviously I know he's British because he played because he played Rory, but I wasn't expecting the really really strong. Like he was like, "Oi, mate, yeah, you're not a, you're not a team, you're legends." <sighs> like he went real deep in it. Yeah, and that was actually pretty cool. The moment I saw that, I'm like, "For the love of God, if they put a blue, if they put the TARDIS in the <laughs> background sort of, of just a blue one shot somewhere." Yeah, when, when the, whenever they're in the, the equivalent of the time nesty type building facility. Oh. That's whenever, what... whenever they're in that, because they've got to, they travel through time to sort of do their things. Whenever they're in that, if they put a blue phone box like in the background, like way out of shot, just hidden away, stashed, you could just see it sticking out from behind a wall. <laughs> the internet would explosion. <laughs> the only way it could possibly explode more is if you see one a shot of Thanos's planet and the TARDIS is there. That's the oh, only way oh, it would explode. Oh, jeez. There's a way to, there's a way for the to blow off the internet and then some. <laughs> yeah. Speaking on the um the time force thing, yeah. Watching the trailer, I don't know I don't know if I, if I if I was looking at it wrong, but there was a glimpse of someone sitting in a chair and there was a time portal in front of them. It looked like Wells in a reverse flash outfit. Yeah. I was thinking, wait, because I, I saw it because it only comes off for a second. I was like, it's like, wait, is that Wells? I, I want I want to go have a, have a look at that because he did because well sorry Eobard Thorn because yeah. we can actually call him that now yeah <laughs> he did come from the future original Thorn not well no no 
thought there's two flat there's two reverse flashes, but there's only one thorn. Yeah. So original reverse flash was Thorn from the Future. Yes. The the other reverse flash is known as Professor Zoom, which is not a Thorn, it's someone else. Yeah. Anyway, I'll get into that later. Yeah, we'll get into that later. Okay, so we've got twenty minutes left. Hilariously. And there's a ton of news to cover. Yeah. Right, Before this. we hit the news, really, really quickly, I wanted to point out a video we just shared up on Save Sci-Fi to do with the Suicide Squad. Oh yes. Now we're not going to touch on what happens in the video. If you guys want to watch it, it's on our, it's on the f- the Facebook page. Go and check it out. Um, the Joker looks really odd. The, the Joker looks a bit odd, but his mannerisms are. Oh, fucking... Leto's got the mannerisms down pat. Oh yeah, I've I've only seen a little bit of it because I sort of skipped through it because it was boring. Um, it's effectively him acting at a scene. Yeah, and... it's him. It's him and Margot Robbie, so Joker and Harley. Yeah, Joker and Harley acting at a scene, and you see the way that he moves and acts. Yeah, I think we've got a contender. We've got a contender for one of the best. For depending on how he acts facially, because you only see him from behind, you don't really see him from in front. Yeah, you do for a little bit. Um, you do for a little really. bit, but not much. Not not the yeah. lion's share of it is from behind. Um, depending on his facial expressions and stuff like that, we have a contender for a Joker. Oh, his mannerisms are crazy, and like I don't want to go into it, but oh, I wasn't expecting it. Like I knew he was good, but wow. Yeah. He... Is it sad? part of the image you saw and going my nephew just did the jazz hands this afternoon ah! uh, jazz hands the... yeah uh, yeah anyway moving on to the news Stuart I'm actually giving you a fairly large chunk of the show because you said you've got a lot there's a ton so... and some bre- some breaking news dun, dun, dun. Yeah. so it's been confirmed that Stephen Moffat will do season 10 oh fuck yeah. <laughs> now for some really awesome news. <laughs> yeah. Now for some news that everyone cares about. Yeah. So, China's 20 foot Iron Panda puts the Hulk Buster to shame. That thing is hilarious. <laughs> Wait, what? Link me this, please. Yeah. It's on the Facebook page. I only get in. half the notifications nowadays. I'll just put it in here. Yeah. Thank you. Wait, so, China has this panda in, in, with an iron with an Iron Man suit on, but it's Iron Panda. And it's just, it's so hilarious, and it's amazing! Oh, what was that? <laughs> what was that? Amy! Clearly. I Amy, don't need to cover that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, here we go. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes uh, re- director reveals the sequel title. War what? of the Planet of the Apes. Yes, War of the Planets of the Apes. No, they're not doing the cycle again. <laughs> Rinse and repeat. No. Rinse and repeat. Bad apes. Bad. <laughs> yeah, because the reason why they went this way is there was a scene that was cut out of um, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes that shows a naval warship going into San Francisco. So that is effectively... The War of the Planet of the Apes picks up right where Dawn, Dawn of the leaves Planet. off. Yeah. So the no, a... no time skip. Straight no. in. Straight into the big big old war. Big old war. So that'll be interesting to see. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And once again, really liking uh, the Planet of the Apes stuff. Really done an awesome yeah. job with everything. I, 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 yeah, must, I must admit, I, I do really enjoy those the new Planet of the Apes movies. So much so that I've actually got one of the heads. Yeah, that like the the CGI, like the way they do it was absolutely amazing. Because yeah. when I first, um, like back, this is like a few years ago when this all started, I was thinking this is gonna be really good, really bad. It has been incredible. Yeah, it's been really well done. It's it's rare to see a reboot that outclasses the original to such a degree. Mm. So, well, hold on. What is wait, wait, all wait. that noise? Seriously, would we um? Say that Rise is a reboot of the Mark Wahlberg Planet of the Apes, or no, no, like that they never ex- exi- that never existed. <laughs> that never ever existed. But I know that, that but despite the that feelings... doesn't that doesn't exist about as much as the um crap. I had it on the tip of my brain a second ago. It's gone. Wing Commander, the, the Wing Commander movie doesn't exist 
just as much as that Planet of the Apes doesn't exist. Yeah. It All doesn't right. exist as much as the the Hulk from the the first of the, the Hulk movies recently, 2003 or whatever it was. Oh, um, with, um... Yeah. Uh, it doesn't uh, exist as the Dead Eric Evil movie, like, just like the Dead Evil movie. Yeah. Ben Affleck. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't exist as much as the Electra movie. Oh. That was an Electra movie? Yeah. Yes. I knew horrible. that was, I was just expecting, like, exactly. It was horrible. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. Anyway. So, the last Starfire screenwriter says that there may be a sequel in the works. Yes. Speaking, yes. Of, speaking of sequels, this is something that I haven't actually seen in the news, but I heard in a video. So, I, it's unconfirmed. There is a. There potentially is a second season of um, Space Battleship Yamato coming. I heard Ooh. I haven't heard that. Ooh, I need to find that. Well, that, was in the, that was in the video I shared on Facebook and tagged Scarecrow in and didn't take you in because it was full of Star Wars stuff I knew you'd dribble over. Aww. Yeah. Yeah. It wouldn't be dribble, it would be a high-pressure jet of white stuff. <laughs> yeah, um... Yeah, anyway, so the, what happens in the video is this guy goes to a toy-con over in Japan, a hobby-con. He goes through and this goes and sort of checks out all the different new models that are coming through. It's got Star Wars, Star Trek... Macross, um, the thing that... Not that he out. showed any Macross stuff. Yeah, he didn't show, didn't show any of that, but when he got to Space Battleship Yamato, he was talking to the person there, and he was translating for them. Um, I honestly don't know what the person said. I just know what this guy said, the person said. Um, I know... And I know he it's... said that... Let me finish. He said that, um, to him, Yamato has been really quiet recently, is... Um, what's happening with it. They're like, we're letting it cool down a little bit since the movie, but we're working on a season two. So, the thing is, can yeah. we just get the goddamn movie already? Yeah. I cannot find it anywhere. It's the same with the goddamn Vanguard Neon Messiah movie. I can't find that either. <laughs> so, anyway, Stuart. Um, yep. wait, sorry. Yep. We can't just now we're on the fact of sequels. Um, Jurassic Park Oh, the sequel to Jurassic <sighs> World's already been greenlit. The, what? Yeah. Why hasn't even released the freaking movie yet? Apparently, it's already been greenlit from what I've heard. <laughs> Where did you hear this exactly? It just popped up. Um, You know how Guidance got greenlit after the preview screenings hit so good ratings? That's a different... Guidance is way different to, to yeah. Jurassic World. Guardians is, is playing with Marvel... Marvel has a habit of being able to pull off consistently epic movies. Yeah. Jurassic Park slash Jurassic World series has not really had anything but, yeah, worth no, sorry, considering a success that. since the, the first. The only reason I can think of them doing a sequel Money. is the toy line. I was, yeah. In, yeah. I was in the shop the other day. I was looking at some Star Wars Legos. Don't judge me. Um... <laughs> Don't worry, I've got a few over the years. And, and, some, Marvel, and some Marvel Legos. You don't count. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I was looking at some Star Wars Legos, some Marvel, uh, some Marvel Legos, because I'm trying to get the, he the helicarrier, and I want the different Marvel, Marvel guys to go with it. Anyway, um, I noticed that they had the Jurassic Park toys. They're named. They've got plot points on the box. Yeah. So, whatever you do, if you want Jurassic World to not be totally ruined for you, for the love of God, stay away from the toys. You have yeah. been warned. It has totally ruined the movie for me. I have almost no interest in watching it now. Ah, idiot. Hey, so, how is he meant to know? So, Jurassic, Jurassic love... Park for me is my movie. The original Jurassic Park is the movie I could watch from start to finish over again forever and still enjoy it. I, well, like, I spent a week watching just that movie because my... my Blu-ray player broke and it was stuck in there, so I just thought, fuck it, I'll just keep watching it. Um, <laughs> it, it worked. Um, so, yeah. I hear an R2-D2. Yeah, I had an R2 as well. Stuart. No, I don't have an R2. Yeah. Anyway, um, news. News. So we, um, we were doing a news segment at some point, somewhere. <laughs> yeah, so um, it seems that um, Asa Butterfield is going to be the next Peter Parker. Yes, and yes. It, it actually looks really good for the part. It yeah, really he, does. 
he's a team. He's so he can pull off the um the high school teenager look that they're look going for. Yeah. He looks like Peter Parker, and he's already been in two big films. So yeah, it's, it's... he's been for for those who don't know who's in um Ender's Game and Hugo. Yeah, I, I've got Ender's Game. I actually really enjoyed Ender's Game. Ender's Game was good. So... Oh, that was him. I didn't realize. Yeah. Yeah, he was the kid. That Ooh. reminds me. I should. I don't think I've got that yet. Thank you for reminding me of that. Yeah. Maybe. Did that remind oh, welcome. Me? I, that better be getting a sequel. That was amazing. Yeah. Uh, there's a whole series they can do with it, but it gets, from what I've read, it gets pretty messed up in like book two, book yeah. three. Yeah. I would. A little too messed up for movies. They'd have to make too many changes. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. Um, or they can be ballsy with it. No. Just like a lot of sci fi movies, there should only be one. <laughs> Tell it to Highlander. Hey. Oh, I, I, was waiting for, I was waiting for that. Islander My is, brain went there, but no. Islander is fantasy, not sci fi. I was just it making there count. can only be one joke, that's all. Yeah. Anyway. I thought that, I thought that was Lord of the Rings. No. Um, one sci fi movie to rule them all. <laughs> no, no, no. I was actually I referencing the movie, The One. Yeah, no. Anyway, oh, uh, God, moving right along. <laughs> yeah, moving right some, along. News. Go, go. To some Deadpool mo- news. The Hulk, and this is this is the quote from this um, news article I'm about to say. Deadpool, the whole cast assemble looks tastier than a mountain of chimichangas. Jesus Nothing's Christ. more tastier than a mountain of chimichangas. chimichangas. So we have a full... Wait, what? No, 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 no. We are not covering chimi- a greasy chimichanga and two tequila shots. No way, no how. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have the full cast for the Deadpool movie. What? Yep. Uh... Wake... God damn it, Coop! Keep it in your goddamn pants. Yes, so Coop, obviously we Coop, seriously, pa- please just bookmark the Save Sci-Fi Facebook page. It is on there, and check it every couple of hours because we're always posting new stuff. Yeah. So obviously we know Ryan Reynolds is Deadpool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we ha- so we, we have, saw that uh, coming a couple hundred miles ago. Yeah. That, <laughs> that, that, <laughs> that awkward moment when they change it without telling us because <laughs> aha, that's a Deadpool thing to do. No one knows. <laughs> No, he takes off the hood, and... It's a girl. <laughs> takes off the hood, and it's we Hugh Jackman. I was a... well, just going to the... say that. You do know there is such a thing as Lady Deadpool, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. I had a Lady uh, Deadpool um, at Supernova bowing to Loki. <laughs> That's scary. Actually, she's groveling to Loki. <laughs> it's even worse. The anti-hero of mischief bowing to the god of mischief. We are all boned. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So back to the cast. So obviously Ryan Reynolds is Deadpool. We have um, Morana Baccarin as Copycat. Yeah. So now, uh, we... how many series has she been in now? I've Gotham. lost count. She's in Gotham. She's in Deadpool. She's yeah. V. Well, v. The Stargate. Firefly. Oh. All she's missing is Star Wars. Mm-hmm. And, what's and she, Star no. Trek. I think, was she in Star Trek? I think she was in know. Enterprise, wasn't she? No, she, she wasn't. I'm no. sure she was. Yeah. I think she right, might have uh, had a single. Can I get through the cast, please? Cause you I'll get... look it up while you talk. Oh, I'm already looking it up. Alright, um, we have TJ Miller as Weasel. We have Gina Carano as Angel Dust. Oh, pardon me. We have Ed Scry. Uh, it's, it's either Screen or Scryne as Ajax. And Does he come with it... a Screen wipe? <laughs> Ajax, very wipe. And introducing Brianna Hildem- Hildebrand as as a teenage warhead. Ed's All right. Kid. Okay. Now, for those who don't know, Angel Dust is actually was actually a love interest for Deadpool. Before Did he love death. her or did she love him? Bit of both. Bit of both. And this is bef- this is ho- before the whole lady death thing. So. Okay. Okay. Huh. Could have sworn so, she was in. I might indeed be in this thing, so just hold up. Yeah, she's not in. She's not credited for Star Trek Enterprise, but she is in uh, Perfume, Way of Broadway. Roger Dodger, her break came in Firefly, I can say that again. Still Life, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Serenity, Justice League, OC, Kitchen, oh. Confidential, How I Met Your Mother, 
Justice, Las Vegas, Stargate SG-1, Sands of Oblivion, Heartland, Death in Love, Stargate Atlantis, um, T Takes or something, Dirt, Numbers, Medium, Stolen, The Deep End, V, Batman, The Brave and the Bold. Wow, that doesn't sound like a bad sitcom at all. Um, it's actually horrible. Do not watch it. Look again. The Good Wife, Homeland. <sighs> <laughs> Um, back in the day, Son of Batman, The Red Tent, The Mentalist, Spy, The Flash. Oh, yep, she was in, um... Gotham, Warriors. No, she was in, she was in Enterprise, but you won't believe us what. She was a slave on a planet that... Orion Slave Girl. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> That's right. I, I knew where she was, because Trip couldn't get the translator to work with her. Oh, that's that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's Firefly all over again. Yep. <laughs> now we're now we're really on a trip. All right. So this is a bit of funny news coming out with Samsung. Yeah. Oh, the so, Iron Man thing. Yeah. So Samsung are releasing a Iron Man Galaxy Six uh, S Six Edge. Sorry, Stark hasn't got to it yet. <laughs> Do I have one? There's no uh, official. There's a box, but there's no look of what it, of what the phone actually looks like. But there's a box and it has it in the face on it. I just found that a little bit funny. There's Anyone a whole... want to take a guess that when you turn the thing on, it's going to it's Jarvis. going to light up, and the first thing on there instead of Samsung or anything like that is going to be a uh, arc reactor powering up. No, no. First <laughs> thing has to be Jarvis. No, no, no. Arc reactor powers up, and then the then Jarvis goes, "Good morning, sir." Yeah. <laughs> or, or anyway, has, on with Thursday. the news. You have very little time left. That's right, I'm on the last little bit. So, Good. the secret identity of female Thor has been revealed. Yeah? You are not going to you are going to groan at it when you find out who it is. Okay, who is it? Jane Foster. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Like, we didn't see this coming a couple hundred thousand miles away. For those who don't know who Jane Foster is, in, yeah, for those who don't know who Jane Foster is, in the Thor movie, it's the character who Natalie Portman is. So what? She's marrying <laughs> Thor? No, 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 no. She's got the powers of Thor. Yeah. What'd she do? Basically... She screwed <laughs> Odin. No, no, no. Basically, the Hammer Dean... The Hammer Dean's... Who is way have the powers of Thor, not Thor the character. So oh. therefore, so it the, can basically the, give anyone the power of Thor if it deems them worthy. Yeah, so the Vision could have the power of Thor now. Basically, old Thor was deemed unworthy, and Jane Foster was and uh, was given it. Yeah. So what happened if Natasha had picked up the hammer? <laughs> well, in one of in the, the comics, Avengers. she does use it. Yes. Oh my god. What if Bruce it's, Wayne is actually an artist? It's just, it's just... It's Thorception. Yeah. Anyway, we are in the last minute. So, um... Time, no, to, say, time to say your goodbyes. Go whenever. Bye. Bye, all. Good night. Have a good one. Bye, Bye everybody. So, I'm going to leave you with the thought of the day. Just something a little <laughs> interesting that I stumbled across and shared on Save Sci-Fi. Great Gulamuga! What if Bruce Wayne is actually an Arkham the whole time? Oh, oh we're not funny. going through this. Not again. this one. And Batman <laughs> is just the delusion he has, and all of his villains are actually all the doctors and stuff. And the Joker is called Joker. Yup. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I'm gonna go put you in Arkham Asylum for that one. <laughs> <laughs> When did, we get an, back on Saturday? When, when did we get an Oompa, Oompa Loompa to join the show? <laughs> or a gremlin. Gremlin? No. Gremlin? No. Gremlin? No. Gremlin? No. Gremlin? No. Gremlin? No.